It's about going in favor of free expression and free speech without having a unelected cabal of companies acting as a cartel that are behaving as censors for that speech and expression. Like, it's just it's just so sad that people are saying this and it's just going unchecked. And I just wanted to say my piece on it. Does anyone here watch Asmin? Did you see the video that he put up uh, two days ago that has 930k views? The West is forcing Japan to censor all anime. He's the, he's the, it's the biggest video I've seen on this so far. Look, you're falling into the trap. You're, fall, you're falling into the Asmund trap here. And this is what annoys me about this conversation because it's people like Asmund that have never left their house, let alone left the country. And they're talking on behalf of something they know absolutely nothing about. So I am going to talk for you. I'm going to talk to you on behalf of what this actually means from the UN. So this is what I found in two seconds. But it says, the United Nations Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women has reportedly expressed concerns about Japanese media and the speculated impact it could have on gender and sex-based violence. That's what it's about. It's about the protection of women and younger girls in Japan. People have been saying just absolutely ludicrous things and t saying that it's about banning violence and banning action anime and banning stuff that's like, you know, completely untrue. This is specifically specifically about protecting women because hentai is one of the biggest porn industries in the world. Do you want to know what the most the most search word on Pornhub was for the past five years? For the past five years, the most searched category on Pornhub is hentai. And if you don't believe me, hentai. Hentai, Japanese. Hentai, Japanese going back further until 2013, until 20, like, 17, besides 2019, it was all hentai. And hentai and Japanese never leaves the top three. The problem is the uncensorship of Japanese law. Do you want to know something really, really, really disturbing? Until 2020, until 2014, it was legal in Japan to own child pornography. It was legal. Japan finally bans child pornography. 2014. So, until 10 years ago, it was legal in Japan to own real life child pornography which is absolutely, completely, and utterly disgusting. But in 2024, it's still legal to own anime and manga child pornography. And let me tell you, it is a booming industry. You can literally go nearly to any massive manga stores and areas in the major cities in Japan, and you will find areas of that manga store that is specifically for Lolita characters. And Lolita, if you don't know what that means, it means young girl. And this is the problem that the UN wants them to address. Honestly, I don't care if the character is over 18. If the character is over 18, I'm just gonna be like, cool, yeah, whatever you're into, man. If you wanna look at that, that's cool, but not children. That is so f***ed up that this is still legal. And it's completely fine for artists to make this kind of content and distribute it, distribute it. And it's completely legal to buy this content. And that's what the UN wants them to address because it's actually scary being a woman in Japan. They literally have specific train carriages that women can take to not share carriages with men during busy travel times so that they don't get 
sexually abused or touched inappropriately or have pictures of their upskirts taken. Just trying to get home from work or to school. Children trying to get to school. That's, that's, that's one of the small measures that they're trying to make to stop girls from being sexually harassed in public in Japan. But they're still allowing child pornography to be, or, you know, animated child pornography to be legal. So when Asman stands up for this sh- I don't think he's looking at the big picture. They're not talking about banning Death Note or banning um, freaking Berserk or stuff like that. They're just saying that they want to get rid of these laws that protect mangakas from making, producing, and getting money off of exploiting children and women. Simple. And I think if you're a real person with a real conscience and your heart goes out to the women of Japan who have to put up with these men, then you should be on the side of UN for them to be more censored and not allow for this to happen. Simple. You're saying Asman hasn't done his research and he isn't fully informed when he's spouting this crap? Shocker!